guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am upstairs in my little decor area. I just started pulling out some fall things and I wanted to just kind of shoot a little impromptu video. Um, so I wanted to show you guys my fall decor. I'm not going to start decorating until probably like Labor Day weekend, the beginning of September. But I wanted to get out my pumpkins and kind of refresh some of them and do like some DIYs on them. So I am sitting here in the middle of like a pumpkin field. A few other items over there but I thought this would be like the perfect time to kind of show you guys what I've got um, before I put it all out that way it's like I don't know I just wanted to show you so yeah I'm gonna turn the camera around and just kind of show you what I'm working with and what I plan on doing um, okay guys so this is my pumpkin uh, Hoard, I guess. I don't know. My husband calls me a pumpkin hoarder. I already see a few that I'm going to let go this year. Over here is the non-pumpkin items, so I'm just going to go through them real quick. I have this bag of golden acorns. These are from Target Dollar Spot. And these I use to fill, like, dough bowls or vases, things like that, or even just scatter. I've got some signs over here. This one here came from Walmart. I don't know how many years ago. This was from Target's Dollar Spot last fall. It was just a blank sign, and then I went ahead and stenciled some letters on it. I've got here, these soup bowls are from Walmart. These are some Dutch ovens, and I think these came from Christmas tree shops. I picked them up after the season, so I didn't get enough time to use them. I love the ones from Walmart. They actually have a matching terrine, which would be really cool. And then I've got some wheat. That came from Hobby Lobby. A little bushel basket here and these are actually they were pomegranates I found at a yard sale but because they were so cheap I just brought them home and I chopped off the decorative stuff on the bottom and then chopped the stem a little shorter and then as long as you don't show the bottom piece they look exactly like an apple so we got that over here I have my little cross stitch I love these I have them for like every season I've got a banner from Target dollar spot and then some table linens that say, like, gather. And that is pretty much the fall stuff that is not pumpkin-y. I do have Halloween items and a few Thanksgiving things, but those will stay tucked away for now. So over here is pretty much the bulk of it. Um, I'm just going to start here. These little guys were TJ Maxx. They have, like, they sell them by, like, a tube, like a vase filler. And I don't know, there's some kind of, like, corn husk or something. The Target Dollar Spot ones, and this pretty much changed my whole idea of like a fall color scheme. Before, it used to be like super natural, like orange and stuff. And then I saw these green ones and I fell in love with that color. There are pumpkins that are naturally that color, so it's not a weird scheme to me. But it's a lot more muted and more me. So that was the year, I think that was last year. I told myself, I'm never going to fall for that uh, fabric pumpkin trend. That's not me. I can't do it. Then they had these at the dollar spot, and it was like love at first sight. So I went crazy over these guys. Uh, there's some more little dollar spot guys in there, and those make great little uh, place settings. So that's why I have those. I set them on the table like on a plate. Um, there's a lot of pumpkins back here. I don't know where every single one came from. I know this was Marshall's. This is a felted one. And this one I know is Target. I'm thinking that might be Target too because it's got the same look. That was a yard sale find I painted. Don't know about that. That one, I think, is Walmart. That is a yard sale find. It's actually a jack-o'-lantern, but I turn it backwards because I don't want to see the carvings. I love this one here from Walmart. That was a yard sale find. That one is full of sand, so it's actually really heavy. That one I usually put outside on the porch. Those back there are the ones I was looking for. That's what started this whole little journey. I am going to go with that green and white pumpkin scheme on my mantle. And I was thinking of those in my head that they might be perfect if I could paint them a color similar to this one or one of these. Maybe like a mix between the two because I don't want them both exactly the same. But I wanted a large pumpkin. And I bought those at TJ Maxx I think over two years ago. And I loved them at the time. And I still like them. But I think that they'd be better in green. So I've got that there. Um, I think that was a yard sale find. It's just a pumpkin garland. These are Target dollar spot ones, the burlap ones. Those are dollar store ones. Those I'm going to get rid of because they're just not my style anymore. 
these here, this is going to be the first year I get to use these and I'm so excited. One of you guys sent these to me and they're kind of like a felted, like wool almost. And they just look really cool. So I'm excited to use those. And then I have this vast assortment of different ones that came from Walmart. So a lot of them I've whitewashed to give them a different look. And then a lot of them I just left kind of plain and like they were. The green ones seem to be my favorite, I've noticed. But I saw Walmart putting out pumpkins again. I tried to just walk past and not look. Um, they do have some really other great things, though. So if you're in Walmart, be sure to check that out. Because they had an olive basket that was, like, the perfect distressed. It wasn't shiny like a lot of them come. And it wasn't expensive either. I did post a picture of it on my Instagram. And I may go back for that. But, I mean, how cute would an olive basket be filled with, like, these little soft pumpkins? Or even just the gourds? So, I'm going to get to work DIYing those guys. I'll probably share the picture, the after, on my Instagram. Um, if you guys don't follow me on there, I'm Frugal Farmhouse over there, too. And I do share, like, stories sometimes, kind of just, like, weird little things. But, <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed seeing a peek into what I'm working with this fall and kind of, like, what I plan to do. Um... When I do decorate, I will be sure to give you guys a tour, but I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.